Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Joy Grace, and today we are going to be playing with the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. Um, this is one of my absolute very favorites. Um, and so, since I'm wearing a kind of gray crop top, I thought we would play with some of the cooler tones in this palette. Um, so, if you want to get ready with me, just keep watching. Alright, so I've already done my foundation, concealer, and brows as normal. And first I'm going to go into this transition shade up here. And then into the, what's it called? Crease shade for the crease. Um, so that's exactly what I'm going to do first. This transition shade is super light, so it doesn't even really show up, even on my skin tone. Next I'm going to use this, next I will use this um, outer eyelid shade. It's a nice super shimmery. Uh, these two right here have um, a lot of like sparkle to them. I'm not sure if that's coming across, but they're very nice. So I'm going to use that gray sparkle shade in the outer corner. Alright, and now going in with NYX Glitter Glue, as always, uh, just on the inner half of the lid. And then I think I'm going to use these two shades here. Um, is that focusing? Uh, those two kind of silver tone shades today. Uh, there's so many pretty palettes, so many pretty looks that I do with this. Um, I need to do a video where I use this bottom because that's what I use on a day to day basis. They're just true neutrals um, and they look so good and they last all day but with very little effort. It's I love this palette. Um, but today we're going to use those silver tones. So first using the more um, true, like, deep silver. Going in on the um, middle part of the eyelid. And then just on the inner... Um, third of the eye going in with the more uh, light colored silver. Alright, and going back in with the brush I used on the outer corner, um, just to blend the middle silver color and the outer deep um, sparkly color together. Alright, 
here's what that's looking like right now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. All right, now I'm taking the deepest shade of the palette um, here in the middle called Lash Line on my lash line. And using the um, stamping eyeliner brush from Wayne Goss. Alright, now I've just done the lash line and I'm going to take just a little bit of that crease shade up underneath the lash line to add some definition. Okay, I think that looks really pretty. So let's move on to the face. And for that, I am going to use my mini Film Star, Charlotte Stillberry Film Star Bronzing Glow. It's the mini. Uh, this is a great value. Um, I think it's only like 25, around $25, less than 30. Um, and you get, it's basically just a mini size of the Film Star Bronzing Glow. And if I did the math right, this is actually a better value than um, if you buy the full size price per ounce. Um, so, highly recommend this. Um, I got it from Sephora, but unfortunately it's only available in the fair medium shade. Um, or light medium shade, not the deeper version that she has in the full size. So, that's the unfortunate part. Um, but I'm going to take that bronzer, contour bronzer. Use it as a bronzer and then um, use the highlight that's in here for my highlight. Alright, for blush, I'm going to use the Shantikai blush in the um, shade Bliss. It's the one with the butterfly imprint on it. Um, it's super fair, um, like a light pink. It's really nice on fair to light skin tones such as myself. I haven't found a shade, a cheaper, more affordable um, blush shade that's this tone and this color yet. So I really like this. Um, it's just a natural blush that really goes with anything. And for highlight, like I said, I'm using that highlighter from the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow.
that's what we're looking like after the eyes and the face are done. I'm going to um, grab some mascara and um, some lip products and be right back. All right, I'm back and here's the finished look. All right, so for eyes, for lashes, I used the Wonder Beauty Unlashed Mascara. And for lips, I went in with the Dalton Lip Velvet in the shade So Shy, which is just a pretty saturated nude color on my lips. So I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me using the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. And if you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing before you go. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.